this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and today is episode number 14. Today we're at the Applied Kinesiology Center of Los Angeles. I'm here with my friend and colleague, Dr. Jim Blumenthal. Dr. Blumenthal is a diplomate with the American Clinical Board of Nutrition and he's also a fellow with the American College of Functional Neurology and we're happy to have him here as our guest expert today. Andy, it's great to be back together with you. It's been too many years. It has been a long time. So, Dr. Jim is going to give us some tips today about muscle testing and functional neurology, and he is a wealth of information. You know, Andy, you've been talking about, about muscle testing on your show for quite a while, and one of the things that happens with a lot of people is they get confused about what muscle testing is, and I think part of being being masterful with any tool is knowing where its limits are. Okay. Which means that we have to kind of understand what we're looking at. Okay. So with muscle testing, all we're looking at is the balance in the nervous system, the autonomic okay. nervous system at, at that. Okay. Um, with with the kind of indicator muscle testing we're talking about. Right. D doing other kinds, you know, the orthopedic muscle testing, that's a different That's a different, right. But one of the things that we know is that when you do a basic, you know, arm push down right. or, a, or a, a, a contest between an extensor muscle and a, and a flexor muscle, right. we're looking at the balance between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic branches of the autonomic nervous system. Okay. In other words, are we relaxing the body or are we creating more fight or flight response? Okay. Now, the the uh, flexor muscles of the body, the muscles on the front of the of the top half of the body, the, the back of the lower half of the body, are typically under primary control of the sympathetic nervous system, you know, the fight or flight part of the system. Right. The muscles on the back of the upper body. Okay, right. And the front, and the front half of the, of the lower, lower body. body. The extensor muscles, the muscles that extend, that extend our body. Right are typically under control of the parasympathetic nervous system. Oh. But when we're looking at, at indicator type muscle testing, okay. one of the things we're looking at is the balance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. Okay. Um, now we're, we're all basically sympathetic dominant, meaning okay. we're fight or flight dominant. If we're okay. out walking through the woods and we come around the corner and there's a, a big bear or a mountain lion that wants to eat us, it's not time to snuggle with our honey or have a sandwich or, or take right. a nap, right? right? Right. It's time to, to pull all of our energy out of those systems, put it into our skeletal muscles and our senses so we can hear the threat, see the escape, and beat feet out of it. Right. So when we test a muscle, you know, when you do like a like an anterior deltoid test, mm -hmm. right? Right. What I'm doing is I'm testing the ability of these muscles to contract. Okay. When one muscle contracts, another has to relax. Otherwise, we have a spasm, right, right? Right. And so we have to have that reciprocal function. Got it. For instance, if you try to contract your your bicep muscle, if you're going to pick something heavy up, pick up the, the something heavy, then in order for that to contract, that has to, to relax. relax. Right. And and vice versa, like when you're running, your Got for it. your tricep to contract, your bicep has to relax. Right. So there's there's that that you know, reciprocal facilitation real, and inhibition right, that takes place. Plus, it happens across the midline. Right. So that if if and and that's part of how we walk. Right. So that if, if that comes forward, that comes back, and and so forth. Right. In order for us to test a muscle, what we're looking at then is the ability of the the relaxation part, the, the, the housekeeping stuff, okay. um, digestion, immunity, endocrine response, sexual response, um, depth of thought, depth of sleep, all those functions that are, all, are, that, are the, that, are, that yeah, that whole parasympathetic thing. Okay. But the, all the autonomic nervous system. So... Well, that half of it, got for it. that half of it to be able to work, okay. we have to be able to shut down not shut down, but re re relax. Got it. That sympathetic fight or flight response. Okay. Because if we're in that response, then we pull all the energy out of the, the parasympathetic stuff to help us survive to the next moment. Got it. I mean, if we're going to get eaten and we're not going to be here this afternoon, <laughs> right. who cares about making another one in nine months? Right, right. Or, right. or the other things. So when we're testing, if, 
if, as an example, we're testing that, that arm pull-down test, we're testing an anterior deltoid, that's a flexor muscle. Right. That normally pulls that up, right? Right. And that flexor muscle, I mean, sorry, that extensor muscle is balanced by flexor muscles. Got it. If these are turned on, and if I just tap them, that'll turn them on, then all of a sudden, that'll turn off. Oh, got it. Because you're activating this reciprocal, which switched that Yeah, off. because okay, we're activating it. that flexor muscle. Got it. And, and likewise, for, you know, that's got to turn on. Got it. Right? So, for that to turn on, that's got to turn off. Okay. In other words, we have to be in a place where the parasympathetic function, the kind of happy, relaxed part, right. is able to, to work without being overrun okay. by the fight or flight Got it. stress response. Got it. So, as an example, if somebody comes in and they put something in your mouth mm -hmm. and then they muscle test you, right. what they're looking at is whether that thing that they put in your mouth creates a sympathetic response. Ah, that totally makes sense. When it or, stimulates the chemoreceptors, what is that doing to your central integrative state? What is that doing to your nervous system? Yeah, exactly. When that gets, when that gets stimulated. Exactly. Okay. And that plays into, into exactly through the, 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 chemo, the gustatory it. chemoreceptors, the taste buds, going back into the cranial nerves, back into the, the, uh, the brain areas, particularly the area of the sensory motor strip. So one of the things that people can take away from this is that muscle testing, as we're talking about, about pull down, you know, arm pull down, or right. or just indicator muscle testing, right, is really an indication of whether something that you've just done is creating a relaxation response or a stimulation response. Okay. And you know what? That's really all that we're looking at. Everything else beyond that is interpretation. Ah, uh, right. How are we using the tool? How are you interpreting the results you're getting? What's the meaning for that? And that's okay. why, why you, as a physician with you know 16 years of experience, teaching people how to muscle test, having all the, the credentials and the training and the knowledge that you've developed over, well, the 16 years in practice, the, the, the eight years of training before that, and all the other things that you've done, music and, and, and all of the, the stuff look at things one way, somebody else who has no idea about that, who maybe has been working in a health food store for right. for three weeks and, and learns about right, right, right. You know, can test the same thing. And you'll find things that they, they won't find. Not that they won't get a muscle test. Right. But that it, that your clinical training makes the difference. I think it was was uh, Albert Einstein who said that intuition favors the prepared mind. Uh, that totally makes sense. So, Dr. Blumenthal has given us some great information today. We're very grateful that he was here with us, and he's teaching classes around the country, and I, he's teaching so many things I can't even keep track. So, what <laughs> what what are you teaching? Well, we're, we're teach for doctors. We're teaching um, retain re primitive reflex therapies. Okay. And um, then we're also teaching natural therapies for autism for, for physicians, oh, okay. for acupuncturists, chiropractors, osteopaths, naturopaths, um, diplomates of a number of organizations. Okay. So that that's uh, that's coming up in the uh, in the year ahead. Okay, cool. And you can find out more about Dr. Blumenthal and his work at www.akcsm.com or Dr. Blue D R B L U. Dot com. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for being here. Andy, it's always Thank a you. pleasure. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. And remember our motto here at Muscle Testing TV, you are the source of your own happiness. I'm Dr. Andrew Collier. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.